Welcome to CHS's Professional Communication Podcast. This is Marguerite Phillips. So today we're going to talk about consciousness of self, but within the framework of small talk. And consciousness of self is basically how it sounds. It's self-awareness. It's understanding your behavior and how it impacts others. And to that end, it's very important to consider self-awareness when you're engaging in small talk. But first, let's define what small talk is. So a simple Google will tell you from Oxford Dictionary that small talk is polite conversation about unimportant or uncontroversial matters, especially as engaged in and on social occasions. I actually would add in on business occasions and really anywhere else you are. I've made small talk with people in parking lots, at the grocery store, it can happen anywhere. But why is small talk important in professional communication? It's really an entree into a larger conversation. Small talk helps us practice. It helps lay the groundwork for transitioning into more serious and in-depth topics and helps set the tone for the psychological safety needed to delve into deeper topics. So for an example, when you start off small talk, it is helpful to create that safe space for that person especially if your intention is to delve deeper into conversation with that particular person. So, but what if you're shy or an introvert? I am right now a confident introvert. I'm not really someone who enjoys small talk, but I understand its importance. Many years ago, I was an insecure introvert. I didn't think that what I had to say was valuable or that I can contribute anything more to a conversation I happen to be around. So picture this, picture a party you've been to and the persons or friends that you came with separated from you for whatever reason. Have you ever been in that situation? Did you try to approach a small group of people who are already in conversation? Instead of being a bystander or what I've been told lurker is the word they use on social media, be a contributor. Let's talk about how it actually happens. What do you say? How do you say it? Small talk is not about fakeness. Small talk is genuinely being yourself, consciousness of self, confident in self, and genuinely wanting to connect to another person. It can be as easy as genuinely complimenting what someone is wearing or noting the venue. Now, when I say someone is wearing, that's something to talk about. So for example, earrings are pretty, it's nice. Earrings are safe. I have complimented some people's hairstyles before, especially if they're hairstyles that are not conventional. I love it when people wear non-conventional hairstyles like spiked hair or different colors. I love that, especially when it truly looks good on them. There's nothing wrong with that. However, you do need to practice caution when someone is wearing maybe a sick turban or a any job or a burqa. You don't want to do that right away, right? You never know. And you don't know them that well, to tell you the truth. You don't know them well enough to talk about their personal culture or religion. Something more original to talk about, say you're at a convention or a party. You could ask them for advice, but lightheartedly, not advice on anything personal. Something like, what's the last book that you read? Do you have any advice for the next book I should read? Or what podcast are you listening to? Because I'm really looking for some something different to listen to. Ask him about the latest show they binge watched. That is safe. It's something that people like to talk about generally. 
and you're asking them for advice. People love to do that. Most people are good people and they're giving. They want to help you out. So if you ask them about something that is lighthearted, that can turn into something much deeper. Practice. Practice approaching people in the grocery store because what's the worst that can happen? Nothing. Most people, they're not going to harm you physically. They're not going to, they might ignore you or they might say, I really don't want to talk to you right now or something, but that's okay. There's always going to be someone else who is willing to engage in conversation with you. Be careful of asking someone if they're married or single or if they have kids, unless they mention it. Also, holidays. Believe it or not, not everyone celebrates Christmas. Not everyone celebrates Hanukkah. Every black person doesn't celebrate Kwanzaa. So think before you wish them well. All you have to do is either say happy holidays or happy new year. When you compliment someone on what they're wearing, mention just what's above the neck or just their shoes, nothing else. You don't know them. Everything else is extremely personal. And please be careful of what I previously said about any cultural or religious headwear. I hope that you take my advice and I hope this is helpful for you. And next episode will be consciousness of self in the context of having difficult conversations. Thank you so much for listening. This is CHS's Professional Communication Podcast. Mm-hmm.